Okay, so today we're looking at polynomials and we're going to be sketching their graphs. And we're going to be looking at the end behavior. Um, we use that word because we're looking at what is it doing at the end of the graph? Is the arrow going up or is it going down? Now to do this, we need to look at two pieces of information from our equation. The equation, first of all, has to be written in descending order. And in this particular example, it is. It's going from x to the fourth, x to the third, x squared, x, and then our constant. So it has to be in descending order. After that, you're going to look for the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is right here, the negative 2. We call it a leading coefficient because it is the coefficient in the first term that's listed um, in descending order. So in this particular example, the leading coefficient is negative 2. Now, from here on out, I'm going to call the leading coefficient LC, just to abbreviate it a little bit. We're going to be looking at two things. Is the LC positive or is it negative? If it is positive, then that means at the end, the arrow is going up. And if it is negative, then at the end, the arrow is going down. Okay. The next thing we want to look at is the degree. The degree is the highest exponent. So we're looking at the degree over here, and we see that it is 4. You need to know whether or not the degree is even or odd. In this particular example, 4 is even. If it is an even degree, then that means the arrows at the beginning and the end of the graph are going in the same direction. If the degree is odd, then that means that the arrows are going in opposite direction. So I'm just going to put OPP, O P P stands for opposite. So that's how I remember it. Odd, op, odd, opposite. And then the other one would be going in the same direction. Okay. The other thing that we need to know is how many turns are there going to be in between the two arrows? So we call that the number of turns that the graph takes. The number of turns can be found by taking the degree of the polynomial, which is the highest exponent, and subtracting 1. So in this particular example here, our degree is 4 and so we would subtract 1 from it, and that would mean that it would take 3 turns in the middle of the graph. All right, so let's answer some questions. Let's look at some examples. First one says, tell if the leading coefficient is positive or negative, and if the degree is odd or even. So we're looking at this graph right here, and we can see that on this graph, at the end, it's going down. So if the if it's going down, then that means that the leading coefficient is negative. So we're going to put that here. Then we want to know, is the degree odd or even? Well, are the arrows going in the same direction or are they going in the opposite direction? They're going in the opposite. So we know that the degree, remember, odd, op, so the degree is going to be odd. Okay, I want you to pause the video here and I want you to answer two and three and then press play when you're ready to check your answer. Okay, check your answers on two and three and hopefully you got them right. <clears throat> Let's go move on to number four. It says in the following examples, sketch the graph by graphing the beginning and the end behavior and by graphing the number of turns in between. Okay, so before we start, we're going to plan some things out. First of all, is the function in descending order? Yes, it goes x to the fourth, x to the third, x squared, x, and constant. So it is in descending order. Now look at your leading coefficient. Is the leading coefficient positive or negative? In this case, it is positive. Okay, and then we're going to look at the degree. So if you look at the degree of this function, the degree is 4. That means it's an even, and so uh, the arrows are going to be going in the same direction. Okay, how about the number of turns? The number of turns that this function takes is 1 less than the degree. Well, the degree is 4, so 1 less than that is 3. 
So I zoomed in on this problem and wrote down our information over on the left side so that we could go ahead and sketch it. We'd have a little bit more room. Leading coefficient is positive. That tells you the end behavior. That means that the end is going up. The degree is even. So even means that the beginning goes in the same direction, so it's going up. Now, in the middle, it's just going to curve a few times. The number of turns is 3. So you need to think of that when you're drawing your picture. So in the beginning, it's going down. Coming back up, that's 1 turn, 2 turns, 3 turns. It's going to look something like this. It doesn't have to look exact. It might not be in the exact location as it is on these axes, but we know that the graph is going to look like this. I want to work one more example with you. Let's look at number 6, and then at the end of the video, I want you to do number 5 and number 7 on your own and come to class with those um, done, please. If you look at number 6, the leading coefficient, is negative, so that's going to give us some information. The degree is even, so that's telling us that the arrows are going in the same direction. And then the number of turns, well that's one less than the degree. The degree is six, so that means one less than that, so the number of turns would be five. So let's go ahead and draw a graph over here, some axes. Here are my axes, and then let's just sketch what's going to happen. So if you look at the leading coefficient, that means it's negative. So that means the end behavior means that it's going down. The degree is even, so that means that the beginning is going in the same direction. So I've already got this purple in here, and it's going down again. The number of turns is 5. So I'm going to start at the beginning. I'm going to go up 1, down. That's 1, 2, 3, four, five. So I know that's a terrible drawing, but it gives you an idea of what the picture is going to look like, what the graph is going to look like. Okay, so work five and seven. Come to class with those done. Study well.